Good morning, everyone. I would like to go over uh, our next project, Project 4, for Option 2, which is going to be an identity package mock-up. So you're going to end up putting your business card and letterhead design into um, a mock-up that has, uh, that kind of shows realistically what your uh, final design would look like if it was actually being used. So what I'm going to do is just open up one of these. I will show you guys what uh, your options are here, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to pick out a template. I have four here, um, and some of them are a little bigger. Uh, they, like this first one, which is the one I'll use, so they don't show you a preview of what it looks like. So you'll actually have to open it up in Photoshop or Photo P. Now, this is um, a project that you're going to have to do in Photoshop or Photo P. So for those of you who've been working a lot with Illustrator, you're going to jump back to Photoshop or Photo P for this one. Um, but I'll just show you kind of what you're going to be working with. You can see like the way this is set up. Basically, you're going to have your letterhead design and then your business card design. And you can edit other things like the envelope. It actually has uh, things where you can change the colors and all that. I mean, it's a Photoshop file, you can fully edit and all that stuff, but um, what I'm looking for is just that realistic representation of your uh, design, and I'll show you how to do that really quick in just a minute. Here's a, the other, uh, another one of the templates, and then I have the one that I want to work with is up here, and you can look at number four too if you like. They're all pretty similar, so I need to open, right click and download, or I can right click open a new tab, but I'm just going to right click and download, and I'll open it up in Photoshop first just to show you it's um, going to show up like this. So this is the first one, and I like this one because it actually, the paper looks kind of real, it even has a shadow and everything. Um, and so I'm going to take a design, um, this is only a one-sided um, mock-up for the business card, so you're going to want to put your side that probably has contact information or, you know, something to that effect in there. Um, your uh, first step that you need to do is actually get those two things open. So I'm going to open up the business card and the letterhead and go from there. So hang out for a second. Okay, so I have it open, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I, I have an example uh, business card. I'll just go to the PSD file here, um, and I'll get that. And then I'm going to just use the school's letterhead to show you how this all works. But um, the way this works in the mock-up is you literally go to um, whatever thing you're adding. So in this case, the letterhead design. If you go to the icon to the left and double-click it, it'll open up that part of the picture that was in the other thing. It's literally a smart layer and you're going to put your design in place of the one that's there. So where it says edit replace, we can actually just get rid of this stuff and then um, you'll put your design in there instead. So I'm going to go ahead and keep their little text because I think it's kind of helpful if you can see the text on top of it. So for those of you who, um, I don't know, maybe didn't um, use a color that is great for having, uh, you know, for making your design functional, where you could write a letter on it, you might want to rethink that. But I'm going to leave the text in here. It's that Hello World stuff. I just dragged that out. And I'm going to get rid of the Edit Replace thing here. So I'll do Group and Contents. And that gets rid of all that. I don't even know if it's, it's just a little, little lorem ipsum thing in the bottom left. So I'm going to get rid of that. And um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the letterhead from my other file. You'll have to have these all open in there. And so if you're doing this in Photo P, you go to File, Open, for each one of the things. Um, so now that I'm in here, I go Select All, Edit, Copy, Merge. And that'll make sure that I have both layers, all the visible layers, showing on there. And then if I go back into where my letter was here and edit paste or control V, it's 
a little small, so I'm going to have to um, resize it to fit the whole rectangle. So if I do Control G or Edit 3 Transform and stretch out the letterhead so that it fills most of the space, and and just double click it. I can even move my letter, you know, somewhere more centered or whatever, so I can see what that looks like. Now I have to do to update the other file. I'm going to spin over this thing better. Is go to file save, and then I'm going to close that file out. And if I go back into the branding stationary mockup, I can see, oh, there's the letterhead. And it creates, like I said, that whole, um, like kind of curled over effect with the shadow and everything. Now I'm going to do the business card. And so for the business cards, let me close up the letterhead. Business card, I just literally will go in here. Again, um, if you're working off of that other template, you'll have to double click on the thing to open up the smart layer and all that stuff. Uh, so once you double click on the icon and open up your smart object, you can go select all, edit, copy, merge, and then I want to go into here and I want to go to where it says your business card design, double click that, and go edit, paste. And I'll need to control T or edit 3 transform that as well so that I can make it all fit in this rectangle. And it might not be proportional depending on the template you use, but um, so I just will adjust it as needed. And then again, now this is just an example. Hopefully your business card's a little different than mine, but I'm just going to go File, Save, and then Exit Out. And oh, wow, well, it's sideways. So I'm going to have to rotate that in there. Let me go back and double click that. Hold on. Edit. Image. Image rotation. 90 clockwise. Now if I go to file, save. And then exit out. There it is. I can see my business card, my letterhead. So I can turn this in. Like I said before, you can change the background color and stuff like that. There's some other things in here. But um, that's basically how this all works. So, there you go. And of course, in Photo P, you're going to be doing the same steps. If you remember from when you designed your business card, you'll um, know that um, you just edit the smart objects directly in there. And you can edit, select all, edit, copy, paste or edit, copy, merge, and then paste. And then in photo P, the big difference is when you go file, save as on, or when you get a file to save your smart object layers, it's going to say save smart layer, save smart object, whatever it says. So there you go.